Namaste, Jai Kali, Jai Mahadev, Jai Bharat. I hope everyone is doing good and taking good care of themselves. Remember, if you're fit and fine, you can take better care of your loved ones. So today I'm going to talk about uh, certain kinds of people that we all should avoid at all cost. Or rather you can say, um, rather to simplify it, I would say that six basic, I mean like types of people that we should avoid for our own happiness for our own mental peace and all of that now what are these six types of people the first kind that we should avoid is the self-absorbed ones now by self-absorbed I mean that these people are so self-absorbed in their own self and in their own thought and mind that they have got uh, you know they are rarely available emotionally for others and these people also love, lack empathy so you know one should avoid these self-absorbed ones because these people are just busy in their own self these people are busy in their own mind and thought and uh, yes I mean they are not emotionally available see at the end and we need such people around us who are emotionally available and who help us who support us emotionally and who guide us in those aspects so yes the first one is self-absorbed ones please avoid them be it partner be it family member friend whatever it doesn't work out I mean like if it's a professional relationship it's fine if there is a healthy boundary or whatever relationship it is if there is a healthy boundary it's fine but otherwise we would get messed up you know we wouldn't get the equal reciprocation that we are expecting from these self-absorbed people the second type that we all should avoid is you know the manipulator now these people manipulators are very much into deceit lies and manipulation they are very smart in manipulating people and getting their work done they, they are also in a way you can say uh, self-absorbed and selfish and then you know also they lack empathy so you know they don't feel how you feel and that is the reason they are able to manipulate and get their work done they might play victim they might play perpetrator they might play any kind of a role just to get their work done and these people once their work is done they are just done with you and I mean like they're least concerned I mean the only concern in the life of a manipulator is their needs and demands as long as it is met and as long as it is fulfilled that's it if his uh, or her demands are not met and fulfilled you are of no use to them so manipulators are someone on whom you cannot bank for emotion or you cannot bank for any kind of support they are just into manipulating and getting their work done they lack empathy and they are self-absorbed as well the third one that you all should avoid is you know the judgmental one so you know these judgmental ones are like very quick impulsive they don't have control over their mood swings they have got extreme highs and lows like uh, you know uh, somewhat you can say like borderline personality disorder people so once they'll be happy the other moment they'll be absolutely sad once they'll be positive they'll be absolutely negative and because of such extremes highs and lows of emotions inside of them they are very judgmental one point they would just you know uh, get angry and come to conclusion the other time I mean like uh, if they are happy then they see things in a very optimistic way right and uh, then they say everything is fine I mean even a wrong thing becomes good for them they start judging because they jump to conclusions very quickly based on their emotions and how they feel about things so they have got less clarity so I mean they might say that a wrong person is a very great kind person and they might say a right person might be absolutely bad person so these people are absolutely bad with their judgments and they are very impulsive and uh, on the long run these judgmental people if you're surrounded by such judgmental people they're going to judge you they're going to judge everything in and around you based on their mood how you how they feel at that very moment so it's better to avoid these kind of people those who are judgmental uh, you might just feel if you have a judgmental person around you might just feel as if you are on a roller coaster you know all those highs and lows that you will go 
you know through with them so i mean avoid that because these judgmental people i mean like they're so judgmental they immediately judge people they might judge you you might not feel good it might hurt your self esteem it might hurt your confidence so it is better that uh, draw a healthy boundary or stay away from judgmental people never bank on them they are also uh, not of great help to anyone so uh, now the fourth one the fourth kind is the gossiper the one who gossips trust me these people who are very much engrossed into gossip they they gossip about others in front of you and be rest assured that they would be gossiping about you to others as well so these people in a way they have got very low self esteem and these people have got very less confidence they are very weak mentally emotionally and they always look for people's validation you know you can you can uh, you can um, say that they are a mix of uh, you know um, uh, a kind of uh, dependent personality disorder right so they are constantly dependent on someone else's opinion so in order to get their approval they might just bitch about you also and in order to get your approval for certain things if they think that you are okay they might start bitching about the others also so they are not very stable they are emotionally wreck and um, uh, they they are also impulsive they are very judgmental and uh, these uh, gossipers are of no help to anyone i mean uh, their life just circles around gossiping you know talking about someone's bad to bitching about someone's bad talking ill about someone and then talking ill about you also so uh, if you see that uh, they they identify gossiping as their sole purpose of life so these people who are gossipers are of no help instead they are going to mess up your head more so if you know such a person or if you're surrounded by keep your personal things very personal don't share any intimate details with them and don't share any of your weaknesses because these people are hungry for validation if anyone gives them validation or if anyone gives them that uh, um anything that they are looking forward to they'll start gossiping about you also so have a healthy boundary and a limit or the best thing is avoid these kind of people the gossipers the next one is the envious ones now these envious ones by default they are envious about quite a lot of things now suppose for example let's see an example if uh, i have a partner and uh, my partner is uh, quite envious in nature so i might be speaking to some relative and my partner would be very envious why are you spending so much time with them why are you doing this for them why are you doing that for them so this enviousness or you can say partially being jealous i mean like these things actually ruin any kind of a relationship they will be envious of everything you talking to someone else you doing good you looking good so you know i mean this envy and jealousy only comes with deep set insecurities deep deep set uh, low self esteem confidence problem and that is the reason this inferiority complex keeps building up and that is how they you know um it's reflected by their jealous behavior it's reflected in their envious attitude and behavior so the the i mean like uh, the i would say deeper if you look into envious people they have a lot of low self esteem insecurity insecurity is also quite a lot in them so these envious people are can be envious about anything at any point of time so have a healthy boundary or stay away from envious people because if they are envious of others they might be envious of you in that rage in that uh, you know uh, anger and jealousy they might just do any of the above mentioned things that i've mentioned before so please avoid envious people as well and the last ones are the hypocrites now the hypocrites are somewhat you can say the two faced people they'll be something else in front of you they'll be something else in front of the others so now you need to understand if the person is having this dual face or hypocrite attitude uh, you know the person is saying something practicing something and you know there there is a disconnect between what that person is practicing and preaching you need to understand that the person might be you know behaving in a different way in front of you but that very same person might be behaving very different in front of the others 
or they might be saying something else to you but they might be doing absolutely the, the opposite so these people are not trustworthy the hypocrites they are quite dangerous and uh, it's better to avoid them so yes uh, these are the six kind of people that one should avoid or be a little alert i mean don't just go on trusting or um don't just listen or buy into everything that they give you but try and build up a healthy boundary but trust me I have tried building boundaries that doesn't work at one point of time you have to just um, get rid of the links and sever the bridges so yes uh, it I mean if you can if you're strong enough please let go don't get drained don't get uh, you know uh, drawn into it and if you can't then please try and work on the boundary thing and then it would be healthy otherwise they are just going to mess you up so before i uh, conclude today's uh, video i would like to repeat once again the first one that we have to avoid is the self-absorbed one the second one that we should avoid is the manipulator one the third one that we all should avoid is the judgmental one the fourth one that we all should avoid is the gossiper the fifth one is the envious one the one who's always envious and the sixth one is the hypocrite one so th these are some simple basic things to look out for and if you sense that uh, you know they are showing such traits be alert and if possible stay away till then have a great day ahead and in case if you want to add in something you can comment below please do like share subscribe the channel and uh, spread awareness bye